so now let's see how to use alter command in our hana sql okay so far we learned about so, you know so many statements we learned in our hana hana sql so now for today's class is alter what is how to do so what is alter command okay uh, in our previous session we learned about copy table statement okay if you want to create a new table by using existing table simply by delete by writing this create table statement from select you can easily create a new table correct but in your new table you may have a requirement to add few more columns to the existing to few more columns okay so then we use this alter command and one more thing so for example these are the existing tables okay these are the existing tables on your database for example if i open sales underscore three go to open definition now these are the existing fields if you want to add one more field to your table do you have any option here like a plus symbol to add one more row when you create freshly creating new table you may get one plus symbol here to add extra rows to your extra columns to your table but once you created the table then it is not possible to add any new column graphically to your table okay by using the sql statements only you must change your table structure okay so this can be achieved by using this alter command okay so we have many you know many things we can do with alter command one by one we will learn so first one is alter command with add column functionality okay for example um, let me close all this okay let me delete this one also create table says three and execute so now i have sales underscore three table and this is my columns information and i have six records so i have a requirement now where i want to add one extra column to my table okay let's say my extra column is nothing but customer column okay so currently this is my existing table sales underscore three and i want to create one extra column in my table which is nothing but customer so how i can achieve it i cannot add this column graphically so i have to made it via sql only so what was the syntax here alter table since you are changing the table structure we are using alter command here okay alter statement alter table table name so which table you want to change you need to provide that table name here add after that since your requirement is to add a new column you are adding a keyword keyword called add after that you need to provide your field name followed by the data type okay so let's see practically so this is your sales underscore three existing table now you have a requirement to add one new column to the to your table so alter table table name my table name is sales three okay and after that my requirement is to add a new column so i am writing a keyword called add after that provide the column name followed by data type of your column okay and close the brackets within the brackets i am adding my uh, column name and then followed by the data type now execute this statement now go here see now if i refresh my table now you can see one extra column added to my table you see one extra column now customer came and the whatever you added it will be added at the end only you cannot add any column in between of your existing columns whenever you add a new column it always added at the end of your structure okay so this is how to add a new column in the same way you can add multiple columns also by separating each column name with comma okay for example customer underscore one and i want to add one more column called customer underscore two worker two or else uh, uh, sales um, reference doc reference doc worker 10 
So now I, you know my sales underscore three is a table that is already having this is the structure. Now what is my requirement? I am trying to add two more columns to my table. Okay, click on execute and then go to your table, refresh it. You see two more columns got added. Clear? So this is how you can add means without deleting table and recreating it by using this alter command you simply you can add new columns to your table if you want to add new columns. At the same time if you want to delete unnecessary columns from your table then what you can do? You can do um, yeah, okay that statement what is my next topic? Uh -huh. So okay before going to that deletion I have one more topic pending add column with the default value. What exactly means? So in our example, we added a customer column to my table. But while adding that column, what happened here? My new column is completely filling with null information. In SQL, what is this question mark means? Question mark means nothing but null. Okay. So for the new column, for the existing records, the new column is populating default with null. Okay, now if you want to create a new column default with some default value, how you can do? So go to your, uh, so I'm going to create one more new column in my table. Let's say, what name? for example, let's say customer plant. Okay, plant is my new column. I want to add to my table of type worker three and default. P001. Okay, and then plant not 3, 4. Plant of length 4 and default value is P001. Now, if I try to execute this statement and go to my table, refresh my structure, you see now plant column added to my table and you see for all the existing records, the default value came as P001. Earlier, when we not giving any default value, the column is filling with null of null value and if you are providing something default value then it is taking that value okay so this is how we can use uh, alter command to add extra columns to our existing table now so next topic now means uh, so for testing purpose we added many columns to our table now i want to drop unnecessary columns from my table okay how I can do drop means nothing but delete. Okay, so how I can delete it simply instead of add now you are using a keyword called drop drop plant give this plant within these brackets. Okay, now execute this. Uh, let me clear my now execute this statement. You see successfully executed. Now go to your table, refresh it see plant gone from your table okay so by simply giving this drop command drop keyword to your alter table statement you can delete it so how can we delete multiple columns at a time let's try so customer comma customer underscore one comma reference underscore doc reference underscore doc okay so I'm trying to delete all three columns from my table. Execute. Yeah, successfully executed. I'm going back to my table, refresh my table. You see, three columns gone. So I came, my table came to my original structure. Okay, as per our example. So this is how to use drop column table, uh, alter command with the drop keyword. Okay, so this will, this will be used if you want to delete unnecessary columns from your table. So why we may, if we have, if, we, if our table contains unnecessary columns, unnecessarily we are wasting the database. So to, uh, to, you know, wisely use the database, we can, we may have a requirement to drop columns. And for testing purpose, if you add any column and then later <coughs> you can delete it. Next, alter command with alter column length. So, so far we seen adding records adding the columns deleting columns now changing the existing column information it means uh, uh, data type so alter column length so okay this example is alter column length what it means exactly is 
So if you want to change the length of the column, so here in my first screenshot, you can see material and wear care of length 18. In your, when you are working on this, uh, you know, on your system, you may got a requirement where you, you want to extend the length of the material from 18 to 20 means, okay, currently it was 18, but you have data where it more than 18 characters, let's say 40, then how you can change this length of the material from 18 to 40. Okay, so this we can achieve by using this, uh, you know, alter statement. Now to see it practically on our system. So I have sales underscore three table, right click on it, open definition. So if you go to the definition, you see material and worker of length 18. Now if you want, if you wish to increase this length from 18 to 40, how we can use it? So how we can do it? Sorry. Uh, alt instead of now just if for every step for uh, since we are working on the table manipulations always we are using alter table uh, you know statement only but based upon our requirement the keywords are changing now alter material and worker 40 so what will happen is it will go to this table and it will try to change the column material to new data type okay material and worker now i am executing this statement material um, yeah okay material and worker so now let's go to sales 3 refresh the definition of this one you see now material and worker 40 it changed so from 18 to 40 i changed now a very important point i'm going to tell now now it's your length is now 40 but later you came to know that material never comes with the length 40 it is always 20, 18 only so unnecessarily why should i waste my database if you wish to delete this uh, you know reduce the length of the column is it possible no if you try to increase it system accepts but if you try to reduce it you know, now I'm changing the length of the material from 40 to 20. If I try to execute, you see, I'm getting error message. Future not supported, cannot shorten the field length material. Okay. So when you are trying to change the length of a length of a column, it system always allow to increase the length. But if you try to reduce the length of your column, system doesn't accept. Okay. So you don't have any other chance except creating a new column from it. Okay, no? for that one requirement. So this is what I explained in this slide. Okay, if you want to change length of a column, then you can do it by using below syntax. Uh, in this example, we're changing from 18 to 40. We cannot shorten the field length, only increasing is possible. Okay, very important point when you're trying to join working on this one okay so next one is not only for n work anything is same okay you only increasing is possible not decreasing so next one is alter command column data type alter column data type okay so this also i tried to explain you by giving a simple example okay now i'm not going to complex examples to understand the concept well so here what i'm trying to do is here on my existing table I have it, uh, you know, uh, field created on of type date. Now you want to change the data type of date, uh, change the data type of created on field from date to worker. Okay. So you, since it is not possible, once you created the table, you cannot do any changes in the structure of the table graphically, but by using this SQL commands, you can achieve it. Okay. So now what was the key, uh, syntax here? Alter table, table name, and then alter same. How we earlier you changed the length of the field, same way we are going to change the data type. Okay, alter created on, created on to worker 10. Worker, for example, um, yeah, one important point here. So in SAP, 
system stores the information of date in which format yy means 2022 hyphen 07 hyphen 07 this is the format it means 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 characters so my date will be stored in the backend with a minimum length of 10 characters if you want to change the data type of my created on date to varchar you must give the length more than 10 or equal to 10 if you try to give length which is less than 10 will system accept you see conversion of attribute fixed size type is not allowed because values are too big means my table contains some data already sales underscore three table contains already some data now when you trying to change the data type of this column system performs a check whether the new data type satisfying the existing data okay satisfying the existing data information so when i try to give the length as nine then system cannot store my date information with this you know less characters so that's why it is uh, not allowing but if i give 10 here since uh, it is matching with my maximum length of my column system will happily do this for you you see no rows affected zero and if i go to structure of my table and refresh it now you see this date got changed to varchar 10 in the same way if you want to change from varchar again to date system accepts you see accepted but there is a chance of system again throwing error message when after changing to varchar if you try to store some data in this table which is not a date format information then again you know then again you try to change the column to date system won't accept so simply to make it simple when you are changing the column data type from varchar to date system will verify each and every record in your table whether this particular column satisfying date data type or not if all the records are satisfying date data type then only system will change the data type of the column to date okay if uh, any one column not uh, in a proper date format then system doesn't accept this uh, new data type for this column okay so we have alter statements but uh, we cannot use as per our wish system will perform some checks if everything is uh, okay then only system will execute your statement successfully or else it will throw error messages like this okay I hope it is clear. So alter command column data type is over. Next. So these are um, these are all about alter commands. Mostly in our day to day work life, we may use these three kind of scenarios only. Okay. Uh, if uh, if you forgot to add primary key, you can add that also using alter command. So you can Google for this alter command. You will get many syntaxes. But how to use? I am giving a high level overview and with these three examples add column drop column alter column length and four one okay so if you want any further it alter command supports many other functionalities uh, you can go and you know check in sap website uh, what other functionalities it is giving okay and you can do some trial and error methods to get it that's it so for this session i am stopping here